This is a custom designed airplane called a Zip. It flies autonomously and can carry up to 1.5 kilograms of medicine to distances of over 120 kilometers. The drones have been integrated in Rwanda's national public health supply chain to deliver medical products to healthcare facilities in rural areas. This is for us as a country a big opportunity to, to learn and move forward uh, an initiative that I believe is going to truly shape the future. According to the World Health Organization, millions of mothers and children die every year due to conditions that could be prevented with access to simple, affordable medical interventions. In the case of developing countries like Rwanda, this access is hampered by the lack of adequate transport infrastructure. This small fixed-wing drone can make hundreds of deliveries of medical supplies in a single day to any remote location. And a network of this shuttle service in Rwanda is expected to cut down the delivery time of blood and other pharmaceuticals to health centers from weeks down to hours, even minutes. Rwanda has partnered with Zipline, a California-based company, to make the deliveries. Together with Zipline, international delivery company UPS will provide 800,000 US dollars funding to the project that begins in August. This is an opportunity to leapfrog the absence of roads with technology that is designed for this environment, for this country, for this challenge. Um, and, uh, 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 and, and provide an equivalent level of care to people who live in remote and rural locations as the level of care that people who live in cities today already enjoy. Zipline aims to make as many as 150 deliveries a day from its central base in western Rwanda to about 21 health facilities in phase one of the project. As of yet, the Kigali government has not revealed the expected cost of this innovation. Uh, I don't want you to put a cost on the life of my Rwandan people. If we can afford, we will. We are studying the model now. As, as we all say, we are learning. <clears throat> we know the cost of doing business as usual. We will see the difference. By 2017, the Kigali government hopes that every one of its 11 million citizens will be within range. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kigali, Rwanda.